today's collectible spot, we are having a look at the Monogram International Figural Keychain DC Comics. This is actually Series 2. Uh, Spot's got himself a case, and we're going to actually go through each one of these and see what we got inside. Uh, to check out more from the folks over at Monogram, you can head over to www.monogramdirect.com. Spot's had a look at the figure key reigns before, but I actually had a look at them in Marvel, being a bigger, kind of a bigger DC fan myself. I was really excited about these ones, especially this guy right here, the Bane. But to give you an idea of the, there's the pack, there's the individual packaging, DC Comics Series Two figural key rings, and on the back, the cast of characters consist of the Flash, Green Lantern, Batman, Robin, Reverse Flash, Bane, Catwoman, the Riddler, the Penguin, and then there's an exclusive A and B, which looks like it could be another, perhaps another uh, Green Lantern. And it definitely looks like another Catwoman. Again, once again, you can go to www.monogramdirect.com. Check out the slew of different uh, merchandise that they make for both DC and Marvel. So we're going to open up each one of these until we get ourselves a full set. And let's get ourselves started. We're going to grab ourselves a knife. I got old red here. Let's cut the first bag. Not the last bag, but certainly the first of many. And it looks like right off the bat, we got ourselves the variation, which is a silver, this would be exclusive B, a silver version of Catwoman. Meow. Uh, they are figural key rings, so I mean, they all each have a key ring attached to their top of their noodle, their head there. They are a soft, not a soft rubber, but they are rubber, but I mean, they have a good, solid, dense feel to them. There is Catwoman right there. We shall put her right there. Perhaps will she stand? No, she will not. Put her right there. Let's open up the second bag and see if we get somebody different. Of course, again, the one I'm really looking forward to is Bane. However, however, some props could be given to like the likes of Green Lantern. I like how he turned out. Maybe even put his ring on his finger there. Can you see that? He's got the raised Green Lantern emblem on his chest. Yeah, I quite like that one, too. And we'll put Green Lantern right there. Let's open up another bag, shall we? If you're just tuning in now, I really don't know how this is possible that you can just tune in now, but if you just tuned in now, we're having a look at the figural key rings DC Comics Series 2. Spot just opened up the Penguin. There's the Penguin. That was Spot's horrible impression of a penguin as well. He's just missing his cigar, but I guess we don't want to have cigars in characters' mouths. Spot, where would you get these? Well, you can go to your local comic book store. I've seen these also in a lot of retail stores like Toys R Us and Walmarts and stuff like that. They carry them as well. Thanks, Spot! You're welcome. You're welcome. It's the least I can do. The next bag gives us a Riddler. Looks like he's got himself a, a boulder cap. A little gray hat there with a question mark at the top there. He's got a question mark on his chest. Best Riddler of all time, Frank Gorshin. I'm just throwing that out there. And once again, once again, you can see how the key ring attaches to the head. Good solid connection. You could put these in uh, for a key ring, but I mean, I love these quite a bit that I probably would have no room for keys, or certainly my keys would not be able to fit into my pocket. There's the Riddler. So far, I, that, I'm not even going to say it. It has something to do with the fact that we've opened up four and the relevance to those, but I'm not going to say it because then I do, I jinx it. Oh, and hop skippity do. We got ourselves Bane. This was the one I really wanted to get, was the Bane. He's got his zippered hat, or his zippered mask there. More kind of old school Bane, without a mouth. Stellar. It's about saying stellar a lot lately, I don't know. 
You ever just pick up a word and then you just start saying it all the time? No, not bad words. No, 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 not, not the bad words. Stellar, I seem to be using a lot. And bananas. Bananas is the alternative to a cuss word. If I do something, I usually just say, oh, bananas. Uh, sp not speaking of bananas, but speaking of Batman, with Bane, that is, we've got Robin, the Boy Wonder. Perhaps a... I don't know. Jason Todd Robin? What do you think? What do you think, guys? Jason Todd Robin? Maybe Dick Grayson? I like how him and... Uh, well, him, Riddler... Him, Riddler, and Green Lantern all have the white eyes. I like that. And he's got his cape. Should put him there. Let's see if we get ourselves a Batman now. Opening up the next bag. And we didn't get a Batman, however... Oh, yes, we did. I thought for the top there, I was mistaken. I thought that was a, a Catwoman. But no, no, we got ourselves Batman. Batman. With his ears there. The ears are soft, so they're not going to prick you. Again, these are all kind of a rubber material. I like that they've given him a classic gray and black outfit, although he's got the yellow emblem bat logo, yellow utility belt. There he is next to Robin, his his young ward, fighting crime. No Joker in this set. Although perhaps Joker might have come in series one. Open up the next bag, and we got ourselves another Catwoman. This is the variant Catwoman, which we actually don't have a regular Catwoman just yet. Let's look at the back quickly. Let's peruse the back. Well, we haven't gotten ourselves a Flash, a Reverse Flash, Catwoman, and Exclusive A. Let's see how we fare with this next unbagging. Got ourselves another Green Lantern. And got ourselves another Batman. Looking at the top, I keep thinking, that's Catwoman. Nope. No, it's Batman. It's Batman. Part of me feels like Bane might be the hard one in the set to get. And we got ourselves another Batman. The Caped Crusader. The Dark Knight. We've got just a whole list of coined names. This one is, for certain, for reals, for realsies, this one is Catwoman. Wearing a blue outfit. Actually, you know what? Let's do a comparison. There is regular Catwoman. This is exclusive Catwoman. See the difference between the two? This one's have more black and white. This one is realized, fully realized in color. Catwoman. Meow! I think the only one that we haven't gotten, no, there's still three that we haven't gotten, is the exclusive A, watch, pointing your knife, Flash, and Reverse Flash. I almost for a second opened it from the bottom, but I guess it really doesn't matter. You can open it from the top or the bottom. Got ourselves another Robin. Let me know down below while we're doing this, or while I'm doing this, you guys are watching, enjoying yourself, I hope. Let me know who your favorite character is from this release. Speaking of characters, speaking of new characters, got ourselves Reverse Flash. I like that they have given him red eyes. Red eyes, he's got a yellow outfit. Basically, it's Reverse. Reverse Flash. That's why he's called Reverse Flash. I like this one, too. I think my favorite's got to be still Bane. I think there's one that has yet to beat Bane. Both literally and in figure form. Oh, and while we're on the topic of reverse flash, Spot managed to get himself Flash. Regular Flash. There he is next to reverse flash. So you guys can see the difference. Okay, I think the only one that we're missing now is the exclusive A. And so far we only still have one Bane. 
but I, I remain hopeful. Because I know a friend of mine would, would say to myself, oh, or would say to me, hey, there we go. He'd say, man, I really like that Bane. It's a shame that you don't have another one of these. Well, I do have another one of these. A Bane will be going to you, sir. Yeah, that might, that's my favorite right there is the Bane. We'll put him next to the Bat. Same height. Batman's ears are just a little taller. All right, so now the hunt. The hunt is on to the break of dawn. We're looking for the exclusive. And I think this might have been. It is. Oh, of all the characters. I really wasn't expecting this one because he's not one of the primary characters. We got ourselves kind of an olive, perhaps gold colored Aquaman. I wonder where Aquaman, Aquaman might have been maybe from series one. Pretty cool. So there's exclusive A, exclusive B, although it should be technically this way in sequence. There's the two variations. Very cool. Very, very cool. Spot won't open really the other ones. Maybe what I'll do is I'll give them to uh, my niece and nephew. They can open up the blind bags and they can go, ee! and then they can find out which ones that they got inside. But let's have a look at the ones that we already got making up the DC Comics Figural Key Rings Series 2 from the folks over at Monogram. The exclusive A, we got a gold, more I think more so a gold colored Aquaman. Got all, also an exclusive B, which was a silver cat. I guess this would be gold because then you've got gold and silver. You got a silver Catwoman. A reverse flash. Again, remember, let me know down below who your favorite character was in this set. Flash. Got a couple of Batmans. Uh, got a Catwoman, a regular Catwoman. And we got a Robin. The Boy Wonder. Green Lantern, which probably could be my second favorite from this set. Green Lantern. There is the penguin. <laughs> penguin. The Riddler. And finally, my favorite from this set, the one I was really looking forward to getting, got a Bane. Bane. He may not break you because he's a little small, a little on the small side, but a super cool, I was going to say stellar, a super cool figure. Today's collectible spot. Spot was having a look at an entire case of the Monogram International DC Comics figural key rings. This was series two. Stay tuned, guys. Stay tuned. Spot's going to have more collectible spots heading your way. As always, thanks for watching. See you next time.